Good day, friends. We have talked about many results from school mathematics, geometry, algebra, and trigonometry, and try to see them through models. We now go over to some other results, mathematical results, which may perhaps we may never come across while studying, but they are very beautiful by themselves and loved by math lovers. Of course, we will see them through the models only. We are not going to talk about the proofs. The first one today we have, that we are going to take is this Fibonacci sequence. Now this is double C is Ch, Fibonacci, as we have written here, Fibonacci Shreni. And uh, he was an Italian mathematician and that is why this pronunciation. Now this, like other sequences, this is given like that. I'll just tell you the members of this sequence. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. Seems very weird. No systematic way of working it out. Then what's the beauty in it? What is the use of it? Well, the beauty is that this, these numbers are seen very freely in nature. We are not going to talk about them. We are going to take its mathematical aspect. It has a lot to do in mathematics also. We we'll start with a very simple relation that it has with other numbers. But before that, let us see how this is formed. We must understand it before we can say anything or see anything about it. It is defined like this. The first is 1, the second is 1. That's given. F1 equal to F2. F is for Fibonacci. 1 is for the first term, second term. Now, third term onwards, there is a pattern, and the pattern is that the third term is the sum of the previous two. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. In other words, to get any number here, you have to add the two previous ones. And so we put it like this. We say that if we want the n plus 1th term, we take the two previous ones, fn minus 1 and fn. So if this is n plus 1, this is fn, this is fn minus 1, we add the two and you get the next one. Okay, is this always true for all n? No. n equal to 1 and 2 are given already. So this is true for n greater than or equal to 3. Well, okay. Now, I just told you that it has some relations with other numbers also in mathematics and it is this. We all know the Pascal's triangle. Very quickly, the first row is 1, the next is 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1 and so on. We also know that in any row like 1, 3, 3, 1, it gives you the coefficients of a plus b whole raised to 3 in the expansion. Now, this Pascal triangle it is surprising that Fibonacci is very nicely connected with this. And it is like this. This Pascal's triangle, we move the numbers in such a way that we will get a right triangle. And now what we do is, we are going to go like this, diagonally rightwards, right upwards. Now, this is the first diagonal. What do we have along the first diagonal? Number 1, that is 1. Second diagonal, 1. Third diagonal, 1 and 1 is 2. The next diagonal is 1 and 2 is 3. 1, 3, 1 is 5. 1, 4, 3 is 8. And now you can guess, this must be 13, this must be 21. You can check it for yourself. So, the Pascal's triangle and the Fibonacci numbers are very closely connected. That's one nice thing about this sequence. Now, the, this sequence has many beautiful properties. We are going to take one with the help of models. And this property is... I first write it down. sigma k equal to 1 to n of fk square. What do we mean? 
You take k equal to 1, so f1 square plus f2 square plus f3 square up to n. So in other words, what this means is, f1 square plus f2 square plus and so on plus f3 square. Now I have written it like this into bracket and in different color because this is not the property, this is simply the meaning. The property is that this is equal to fn that means the nth term into the n plus 1 term of the Fibonacci sequence. Now, we shall show it with the help of a model. Now, remember, these are all Fibonacci numbers. And for Fibonacci numbers, we always know that when you add the two successive ones, you get the third one. We are starting with, see what we want is 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 5 square, etc. And if we go up to 8 square, it should be equal to 8 into 13. That's what we want to prove. What we have done here is, this length we are taking as a unit length. And you, you can see there are two squares with unit length sides. So the area of the lower one is one square. The area of the upper one is also one square. And that gives us one square plus one square. So these two have been put together. Okay. So here we have 1 square plus 1 square. Now the next one should be 2 square. Now 2 is easy and we know it is 1 plus 1. We have here 1 and 1. So it has to go here. 1 plus 1 is 2. So, so this length is 2. We don't even have to measure. This is 2 square. Now the next will be 2 plus 1. That is 2 plus 1. So without any measurements, we know that this must be 3. So here is 3. So 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square. Now, this is 3, this is 2. So this length is... We know this length is 5. So this is 5 square. So we have got 5 square now. Now this is 5 and 3. And Fibonacci will give you the next number. Five. If this is Fn minus 1, this is Fn, this is Fn plus 1. Now I'm calling it n instead of 3 and 5 and 8 because I don't want to say that I have 8 or 13. I want to say that my last is Fn. I want to go up to F. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, this should be Fn. I want to say that I am going up to fn square. So this is f1 square, f2 square, f3 square, f4 square and so on. And this is fn minus 1 square, this is fn square. So fn minus 1 square and this is the last one is fn square. So all this gives us the left hand side, which is this. We have to show that it is the right hand side. Now what is the whole area equal to? It is the whole rectangle. Now, one side of the rectangle we know, it is this. And this was our Fn, the last one. So, this length is Fn. This length is also Fn. This was the previous one, so this is Fn minus 1. So, this length is Fn minus 1 plus Fn, but that is Fn plus 1. So, this was Fn, this is Fn plus 1, and that is exactly what we want. So, that is how we see that the sum of the squares of the Fibonacci numbers can be given simply as a product of the last one into the next one. Well, okay. Thank you.